Welcome to Devices Setup and today we will learn how to solve wireless and Wi-Fi repeater not connecting to the internet or wireless and Wi-Fi repeater is not working at all. So if you are facing any of these issues then we will tell you some steps that will 100% resolve your issue and after this your extender will start working fine. So let's get started. First of all make sure your wireless and Wi-Fi repeater is plugged in within the range of the router. You should not plug it too far away from the router. The ideal distance should be 20 to 30 feet or less. Next, make sure you have internet on the router. So check for the internet light status on the router. And if you do not see one, then kindly get in touch with your internet service provider and get this resolved first. Next, you can also try to reboot your modem, your router and extender for 2 minutes and then plug them back into the power after 2 minutes. This most of the time resolves most of the network issues. Next, if this also doesn't resolve the issue, then we recommend you to reset your wireless and Wi-Fi repeater and then set it up again. You can reset it by putting a pin into the reset hole for around 10 seconds while it is plugged in into a power source. After 10 seconds, release the pin and let the repeater reboot. After 2 minutes, you can start a setup again. Watch video given in the description to learn how to set it up. Next, also make sure no ethernet cable should be connected from the repeater to the router. Next, if this also does not resolve your issue, then we recommend you to make some changes in your router settings. And we will tell you the exact changes that you need to do. So the first thing that you should try changing is your router's channels. So for that, you will have to log in into your router. And if you do not know how to do that, then watch the video given in the description. So once you are logged in, then go to your channels and then try changing the 2.4 GHz channel to 1, 6, 9 or 11. And after making any changes on the router, reset the extender once and then set it up once again. Now check if this resolves your issue. If not, then make the second change in the router settings, which is its Wi-Fi security type. Sometimes these repeaters do not support the latest WPA3 security type of the modern routers. So log in into your router and change the security type to WPA2, then save settings on the router, and then reset the extender again and set it up. Now, if this also does not resolve the issue, then we recommend you to change the SSID and password on the router as sometimes if your SSID and password have any special characters, then they might not be recognized by the wireless and Wi-Fi repeater. So watch video given in the description to learn how to change its SSID and password. And then again, reset the extender after saving the settings on the router. But be cautious before you make any changes in the password or SSID of your router as all the other devices connected to the router will get disconnected. So you will have to reconnect them back again. You can also try to upgrade the firmware on the router as well as the extender. And lastly, if the browser setup method is not working for you, then you can try the WPA setup method. And I'm pretty sure one of these methods will work for you and your wireless and Wi-Fi repeater will start working just fine. So finally, if you found the points given in this video useful, then please do hit like and subscribe to support my efforts. Thank you so much and I hope you have a blessed day.